Lucas Media. So Coach Prime was went viral for going back and forth with an interviewer, basically refusing to answer any of his questions. He feels like there are possible reporters out there, some being CBS and one one or two with the Denver Post have had uh, things to say, critical things to say about him and about his team. One of the reporters asked Dion a question, and Dion asked him a question that he wants to answer first. I'm going to play this audio, and then I'm going to get back with my thoughts. You at the Denver Post. Happy summer, my man. You, you don't like us, man. Why do you do this to yourself? Come on. You don't like us. Mark really likes me, by the way. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark said he likes me. No, so that's you, one. you don't. Why do you that's do this, right. though? No, no, I'm sorry. Two part. No, I'm serious. Why question. do you do this? Like, you know you don't. Like, why do you do no, this? No, no, no. It's not about that. Football question. Football no, no. question. Why do you do this? Like, it would be hard for me to really engage in someone I don't like or something I don't like. I'm just asking why. Like, why? I gotta, gotta pay What did I do? You didn't do anything. It's not about that. But, this but is what, why? Question. I'm asking you why. Yeah, you can ask. But that, that's okay, not answer me. Because yeah. you want me to answer you. So yeah, okay, you. that's right. That's fair. Why? Why? Because I have Give questions. Give me your why. why what, what's your why? What do you want to know? Why do you, you always on attack? What, what did we do? Where am, I, where, where am I on attack today? Where am I on attack? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you opportunities to be on attack. Okay. But I'm asking you why. Like, what does it do for you? Like, What's what happened? It's not, it's not about me. But what happened to get you like this? It's a good question. No, I'm serious. Because <laughs> I want to help. Like, because, no, I'm serious. I want to help. Because it's not normal. We can talk about that. We can talk about that. Okay. Can I ask you a football question? No, seriously. No, we'll talk about that. When we talk about that, I'll talk about that with you. Can we ask you a football question, please? When I talk about that, we talk about that. We okay. can talk about that. So you just heard Dion refuse to answer questions. I seen people like Jason Whitlock go in. I seen several different people had Dion's back and said that they're always saying negative things and he don't have to answer those questions. And here, my honest opinion, I don't really have too much of a problem with it. I think Dion could have answered the question or he could have said something but still answered the question. But he he got a right to because Greg Popovich is a certain way with reporters, you know, and you got a lot of people defending him. Nick Saban got uh, went off on a was it maria taylor you had people out there defending it or you see uh uh you know certain athletes go off on people and you know they're competitors you know it's the competitive nature in them and you know you shouldn't have to ask the great nick saban this and nick saban that so if y'all fine with that then you gotta be fine with Dion. i have no problem with it the thing about it with Dion is he gonna have to win and he gonna have to win some games this year so last year you know the the fairy tale and Everybody's watching the games. I was watching the games. Y'all was watching the games. A lot of people, bosses, was watching the games. I think it was what? How, was it 13 million people watched that game against Colorado State? It was something. It was an astronomical high number. And then after that, it just they just fell off. Now they were in a lot of different games where I felt like they could have won, but you know, of course, they didn't. They ended up getting losing to Stanford when Shador was uh, tweeting his merchandise <laughs> halftime during the game, but. If they're winning, the Dion can act like this. Nobody's going to say anything. See, people don't say that Nick Saban because how many national titles Nick Saban got? Six or seven. So when you, when you start winning, nobody's going to say something. But if Dion loses, then his confidence that their media is going to turn on him and the boosters and everybody, you're going to start hearing different rumors. And you've already heard he ain't even been there two seasons. You've already heard rumors that he might end up leaving. Oh, will he go to Texas A&M? Will he go to Auburn? This, that, and the third. So you're already hearing things. But if they don't, if they don't win this year, if they're not winning this year, you know, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna start to hear a lot. But you'll also see people criticize him more and more for what he said against the reporter. But my personal opinion, I would answer the question honestly. I would have said that first, but then I would have answered the question, or I would have kept coming back to him. But like I said, if y'all if y'all cool with other people doing it, then you got to be cool with Coach Prime doing it. The only thing, though, that Coach probably got to do this year, he got to win. Sorry, he got to win, you know, especially with the transfer portal. You can transfer, what, every every year now? And they've always been the top ones in the transfer portal, so got to win. And you got Shador, who's going to be probably the number one player, and he's already a favorite to win the Heisman. It's his to lose. And you got Travis Hunter number two, so, you know, it's time. I got post Coach Prime winning at least. I can see them going eight, winning eight games or, or a 500 record. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.